Hey, I'm Tony Cartman, the project manager for the new Indy Lights car, otherwise known as the AL15. 450 horsepower with 50 horsepower push to pass, AER inline four cylinder turbocharged engine. Should be fast, very light, comes in about 1380 pounds, and uh, we're looking forward to testing it next week. Let me take you for a walk around the car. Let's start at the back. Six speed sequential semi automatic gearbox. Ricardo, got some dynamic dampers up on top there with the AER four cylinder engine as you can see. Intake, intake for the exhaust air into the turbocharger, very small turbocharger located right here. Single turbo, single wastegate, obviously single exhaust system as it's only a four cylinder. As we move forward a little bit, this is one of the major pieces on the car, pretty large. It's an intercooler, it's only for the engine. The goal is that the ambient air temperature cannot be any more than above, uh, 10 degrees above ambient. So this guy here is pretty big, but it does a huge job. Right in front of that, engine oil cooler. And as we move forward, quite a lead, large structural piece to the car. This is a separate piece from the side pod. It's bolt on from the inside of the car. But as you can see, it's pretty firm. This piece and the radiator structure are an integral part to the driver's safety. So between the intake, the radiator section, and the radiators themselves, all of this is to help absorb uh, side impacts. Let me talk to you a little bit about the aerodynamics. As you can see, the rear wing, we've got the road course wings on right now. Very large, single element rear wing with multiple adjustments here, very small increments. It's such a large flap that it's very powerful. Very big tunnels with some strakes. A lot of aero created from the underwing of this car, the underbody. As we move forward, we've got underwing protrudes out in front of the rear wheels here. This is to try and help stop wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact, or at least reduce it. We move forward again. You notice there's not many flat areas on the underwing. A lot of air pumped in under here. It's got to bleed out somewhere. This front portion of the underwing is very critical to how the underwing works. And as we move forward, front, front wing on here, on a set of pillars, uh, standard construction really off a nose cone. All your crash structure is obviously in the nose. And the idea behind the wing mounted on these pillars is that uh, the wing bends or breaks, but the, uh, uh, the wing bends and does not break. The pillars break off. You can look at the, the carbon work, the carbon fiber work on this car and the body fit is perfect. It's a very, very good job by Delara. Now let's look in the cockpit. The cockpit is very, very similar to an Indy car. I've got the side padding just as an Indy car, got the three inches behind the driver and I've got the inch and a half under the butt. So very, very similar in here. The headrest when complete will be the same headrest as an Indy car. And as you look through, you can see it's got all the FIA cockpit padding for the legs and the knees. The driver's seat from an Indy car will fit right into here. So it's, it's very simple to go back and back, but in general, the safety inside this car uh, is identical. Uh, all the uh, loom sensors and the, and the display on the car have uh, provided by Cosworth. Uh, Cosworth Electronics, the steering wheel standard, everybody has the same wheel. Massive upgrade in electronics compared to where we were. Huge amount more, more data, huge data logger, can really save some information. So hopefully you enjoyed it. That's it. Tony Cotman signing out. Thanks.